This video is on parallel circuits and goes along with page 9 to 10 in the circuits notes. Parallel circuit resistors in parallel is like increasing the cross-sectional area of a resistor. Um, think about it like adding other lanes for traffic to go down, allowing you're going to get more traffic and less resistance. That means more current and less resistance. Anytime you add resistors in parallel, resistance goes down. Um, see, the equation isn't as simple as just adding them together. The equation is 1 over REQ equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus however many resistors you have. You just add the reciprocals. Okay, uh, so let's give that a try. Find the equivalent resistance of the circuit, then find the current in the circuit. So I have 6 ohms and 3 ohms. So I know my answer is going to be less than 3 because the resistance has to go down. So we do 1 over REQ equals 1 over 6 ohms plus 1 over 3 ohms. So 1 over REQ. So 1 over 6 plus 1 over 3 um, is going to be 0 0.5. 0 0.5. But that's not the answer. That's equal to 1 divided by the answer. So we need to uh, take the reciprocal of that. We need to flip that. We need to do 1 over 0.5. All right. So we have REQ is 1 over 0.5 ohms. So it's 2 ohms. All right, voltage remains the same across each resistor. Voltage is measured across resistors, whereas current is measured through resistors. So calculate the current to the 6 ohm resistor. So we do R equals V over I. So 6 ohms equals 12 volts over I. And 12 divided by what is uh, 6? The answer is 2 amps. Calculate the current through the 3 ohm resistor. R equals V over I. So we have 3 ohms equals 12 volts over I. 12 divided by what is 3? It's 4. All right. Oh, we forgot to do the total current in the circuit. Um, we do same thing. R equals V over I. It's uh, 2 ohms equals 12 volts over I. What do I divide 12 by to get 2? It's 6. I equals 6 amps. Amps. I was going to write ohms, but it's amps. All right. Um, so how do they compare? The total current is 6 amps. I have 2 amps going through one, 4 amps going through the other one. Combined, they give me 6. So overall, uh, for any parallel circuit, the, this time, the currents are going to add up. The I equals I1 plus I2 plus I3, however many you have. The volts are all the same. V equals V1 equals V2 equals however many. And the uh, resistors add with that reciprocal formula. 1 over REQ is 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus all of them. Okay, and again, all this stuff is in your reference table for parallel circuits. I equals I1 plus I2 plus I3. V equals V1 equals V2 equals V3, and the resistors use the reciprocal. 1 over REQ equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Okay, so make sure you read the question carefully and see if it's a series or parallel circuit, um, or look at the diagram and see if it's series or parallel. All right, 26. Um, let's do this one with a verb chart. Three 2 ohm resistors in parallel with a 14 volt battery. So we have. One, then on a separate path, another one, then on a third path, another one. These are two ohms each. I'm not going to label all of them and 14 volts. Calculate the equivalent resistance as well as the current across one of the resistors. Since they're all two ohms, they're all going to be the same. So, verb chart V, I, R, P. We have three resistors and then the EQ, the total. Change colors. Okay, we have two ohms, two ohms, two ohms, and a 14 volt battery. 
and it says calculate the equivalent resistance and the current. So the equivalent resistance and the current across one of them. Let's just do this one. Doesn't matter which one. Okay. Now I know you guys, you want to just add the two and two and two and get six, but it's not six ohms because this is a parallel circuit. And in a parallel circuit, we use that reciprocal formula. So it's one over REQ is one over two plus one over two plus one over two. Uh, so one over R is three over two. And then we flip it. We take the reciprocal R equals two thirds or 0 0.67 ohms. Okay, um, what are we gonna do now? This is a parallel circuit. In a parallel circuit, all the volts are equal to each other. So we can just fill those guys in, 14, 14, 14. Now getting that missing I should be a piece of cake. It's just R equals V over I. All right, so two ohms equals 14 volts over I. What do I divide 14 by to get two? Seven. I equals seven amps, so seven amps. All right, and that's how we use a verb chart on a parallel circuit. Can you guys, on your own, try number 27, and I'll post the uh, solution for that one tomorrow.